Hello and welcome to a Handpick Life YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you three simple ways that you can help to soothe the stress response. We'll start with the triple warmer which is an energy pathway that runs from your ring finger all the way up the arm, over the shoulder, the neck, behind the ear and over to the temple. The triple warmer is also known as a meridian, which are the energy pathways that come from the ancient Chinese philosophy. Now this pathway's job is to make sure that you survive, it keeps you in its survival, certainly one of its jobs. And when we go into stress, this pathway is active. So one of the most simple things that we can do is to soothe this by tracing it backwards. Okay, so if you just take one hand on the temple, take it over the ear, around, down the neck, over the shoulder and all the way off the ring finger and just see how that feels for you. And you can do that both sides. Now when we do this, what we're doing is helping the energy to, to soothe and we're also giving the body the okay signals that now isn't a time to be hypervigilant. It's okay, it's safe to calm down. And you may find that you do this naturally as well. When you're, often when you see people, it'll go, the hands will go to the temples or they'll soothe behind the ears. Or um, parents or carers will often know that you'll naturally soothe a child to sleep around the ear. So there, there are ways that the body actually knows what's going on and what I love about somatic practices is you're bypassing the conscious mind and you're speaking immediately to the body and giving it the signals that it needs because when we are in stress what what doesn't work is to talk ourselves out of it but if you go immediately to the body and speak to the body you're giving the body those signals that okay I can, I can relax from this, I can release. So that's one very simple way. And if you find that you're in stress a lot, if you're feeling right now that you're, you're going through a phase where you know that you're stressed, make it a habit to soothe this as much as you can. Because what you'll find over time is you'll help your energy to get out of a habit of, of staying on, on high alert. My name's Leanne Campbell and I'm a life and wellbeing coach and I specialise in somatic practices because that is the way to really get deep into the subconscious where we hold all our patterns and memories and keep ourselves often in, in habits and ways of being that are just long outdated and unhealthy for us. The second exercise I'd like to show you is again something that we often do naturally if you ever find yourself your hand flinging to your head or rubbing the forehead so these are the main neurovascular points and neurovascular means that they work with the brain as well as the vascular system they you'll find them in Chinese philosophy and other ancient medicine practices they're also used with different healing modalities such as chiropractors, you'll find that in energy medicine and just wonderful ways again to start this dialogue with your body. And what we're doing here is we're trying to get the blood back into the forebrain because when we go into stress we can lose up to 80% of the blood and it leaves the forebrain because this apart from many other things is the area where we have choice, our creativity, being able to really experience joy in life. And we don't need that when we're in stress. The last thing we need is choice. We're not interested in being creative or enjoying life. We just want to get through. And the blood then stays in the back brain. And that's why in those moments, we tend to just do what we need to do in order to get through the situation, even if it doesn't make us happy. So one thing that you, one way that you can work with this is when you're lying in bed at night or in the morning, start the day with bringing the blood into the forebrain. Okay, or if you find yourself doing this, take a moment, 
You can also place one hand on the back of the head and just take a few deep breaths and let yourself sink into your energy and see how that feels. The third one is for me um, an all time favorite and it's tapping. And there's many different ways to actually tap on the body and there's many wonderful points on the body. But I, I just want to show you a really simple one today of in between your um, little finger and your ring finger in the webbing there in the, in the hand, in between the bones, just, just take your fingers together and just tap there in the web, webbing. I like to rest my hand over the heart center when I do this. So the latest research has shown as well, when we tap, and you can actually tap anywhere on your body, the amygdala, which is the part of the brain that signals a stress response in the body. When we're in stress, it's on, it, there's lots of activity in the amygdala. And what they've found is tapping reduces the amount of activity in the amygdala. So the wonderful thing is you don't even have to start thinking your way out of stress. You can be totally honest right where you are, tap and go, okay, I'm feeling really anxious. I'm feeling scattered, stressed. Just being honest with yourself and breathing and tapping and soothing and bringing the blood to the brain. So that using, see how they feel for you. We often find a few that are our first aiders, that are our real go-tos. And when you're doing that, you're calming the body and then you can stay with the same situation and find that you're starting to feel differently. And that's where our power is because often you can't change the outside, but you always can change your response to something. And that takes practice. And the more that you practice it and the more that you practice really orchestrating your own body rather than trying to control things on the outside, you'll find that you'll, you'll see things in a different way. And actually something really magical happens that you'll find that situations that keep seem to crop up and press your buttons don't seem to be there anymore. So please experiment with this try it, practice. The more we practice, the more it's there, literally at our fingertips when we need it. And please comment below, give us a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel and thank you for joining me.